you know, the Clovis point that they found in New Mexico, which dated back to like 12,000 BC. And, and, and I could go on a sidebar with these archeologists. When they find something that's the oldest, they will defend it to the death. They yeah. do not want anything older to be found. Well, yeah, they, that's a real problem with Egypt too. But they found another point of some kind in New Mexico that dates back another 8,000 years. Yeah, they found shatters. footprints. Yeah, yes, that's what yeah. it was, footprints, footprints. Tw- I think it's 22,000 years. Yeah, it that's shatters. Just, also, that's just what they found. Yeah. Like, who's to say there's not one that's 35,000 well, we years don't have, old? Yeah, this is, we're, we're saying that the oldest thing we found is the oldest thing. That's ridiculous. Which is just fucking human. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, that's what they're realizing now with human civilizations, that it's very likely that there was a mass disruption of human civilization from asteroid impacts or something like that, and we had to rebuild. And that's what the pyramids are, and that's what a lot of the structures that they find yeah. even in North America. And, you know, catastrophes do happen. And I know we don't want to believe it. It's just like the vegans don't want to believe they're causing any death when they buy their kale. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing. We don't, want to, we don't want to believe that this could ever fall apart and we could be right back to square one, right back to living like nomadic tribal people. But that 100% can happen. Well, you know what? You know, Einstein's famous saying when they asked him what would yeah. be the weapon of destruction in World War Three, and he says, I have no idea, but I know what it is in World War Four. And yeah. they said, what is it? And he goes, sticks. Yeah. It probably doesn't even have to be the war, though. That's no. the problem. The problem is we're in a fucking shooting gallery. We're spinning around in a shooting <laughs> gallery of massive chunks of space debris that literally is the stuff that forms planets. Yeah. And it's everywhere. There's so much of it out there. There's hundreds of thousands of near-Earth objects. And there's a whole asteroid belt. And if one of them collides with another one, one of them's coming in from some other place and it hits one and just sends it right towards us. Yeah. And some of them are fucking huge. And when those things hit, that's a wrap civilization. Yeah. Whatever people are left, good luck. Good luck. You're going to live like barbarians for the next thousand, two thousand years before people reinvent civilization again. Yeah. And, And it'll be interesting to see if it's reinvented the same. I don't think it will be. I think I think there's a certain amount of genetic memory in people. And I think even if something horrible happened and we had to start right now from scratch and rebuild civilization, I think I still think we would be better off than people who tried to do that 5000 years ago or even 10,000 years ago. I I think the human the the the, the collective human consciousness is something other than just what you know and what you've read i think there's some shit that's in you in genetics i think people are better at stuff now than they've ever been before but clearly if that's the case clearly whoever built the pyramids they must have been around way longer they must have been they must have been able to have a civilization that thrived way longer than ours they still can't figure out how they built it and and there's something that I just read about, if you look at its longitude and adju- yeah. latitude, it's like a perfect one one millionth of it. It's, yeah, it's almost perfectly true north, south, east, yeah. and west. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And it's whoever did that probably was along the same lines that we're on. They just had way more time to do it. They had you know thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Where well, we've only had a few hundred. A few yeah. hundred of craziness, a few hundred of the Industrial Revolution, combustion engines, you know, utilization of fossil fuels, all the shit that we're doing now, nuclear fuel, nuclear weapons. This is real, 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 real recent. Yeah. So if they had some more time than we did, that that's what explains that shit to me. And I think that if we go and then there's a few barbarian people left of, you know, a few thousand all over the planet and they eventually redo civilization they probably do a slightly better job. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think each group does a slightly, a slightly better, better job, job than the last. but it probably takes forever. It'll probably take another four or 5,000 years for civilization to really emerge again. Are you familiar with the... I'm fascinated with anthropology. Me too. Like human anthropology and the fact that we now know that there were four different human species living on the planet at yeah. the same fucking time. Yeah. At yeah. the same time. Yeah, maybe more. Yeah. If Homo erectus was still around too, you got the Denevarians, you got Neanderthal, you've got your Homo sapien, and then Mm -hmm. there was was another 
off some Indonesian island. Yeah, the was, Homo yeah, floris, yeah. floresiensis, I think. Yeah. They, that's how you say it, those little hobbit people. Yeah. Yeah, they think there's still some of those alive somewhere. There's a thing in um, some parts of the country, they call them the Orang Pendek. And uh, they, in jungles, people have reported seeing these little tiny people, little tiny hairy people, like, you know, 30 years ago, 50 years ago, 100 years ago. And so there's this, there's this myth of this Orang Pendek. And they never took it seriously until they found these little people on the island of Flores. And, like, some of these jungles are just so insanely dense, like in Vietnam and places yeah. like that. Like, who knows? There might be a small population of these things still alive today. Or well, there's still alive a few years uncontacted tribes. There's that one in India that every time somebody tries to go North there, Sentinel Island, yeah, yeah. they kill them. Yeah. Well, they didn't used to. You know when they started killing them? There was a guy named uh, Commander yep. Maurice Portman. I wanted Portman. to make a movie about that. Maurice Vidal Portman. Yeah. He was a pervert. And he'd run around uh, fondling people and d drawing pictures of them, making them dress up like Roman soldiers and talk <laughs> about the size of their dicks. Did you know about that? No. Yeah, yeah, It's like, this one had testicles the size of a sparrow's egg. It's like he was doing science. He's a little pervert. And this guy, uh, he was responsible for uh, getting a bunch of them sick. And uh, a few people died. And they, they even kidnapped people, and they tried to r raise their kids somewhere else. I think they kidnapped some people. But uh, that was a very hostile interaction with white people. So from then on. They were like, fuck like, it. You see them, start killing them. They're going to give you you know, herpes. Yeah. And they're throwing spears at helicopters. They're going to make fun of your balls. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> these, so that one guy, he, he just like did, you know, air quote science, just traveling around to all these islands and f fucking with these people. Yeah. And now they were like, ah, that's yeah. Now all. they'll fucking kill you. Yeah. They will fucking kill you. They kill everybody. You can't even get out of the boat. They're already shooting arrows in your direction. And now they have metal too, because they took one of the um, uh, boats that got stranded there. They had to rescue these uh, people that were stuck on this boat, because the uh, North Sentinel people were coming for them in the boat, and they literally had to rescue them in time. But they got onto the boat, and then the next time they saw them, they noticed that they had metal uh, weapons. Really? So yeah, so they think they've salvaged pieces of the boat and turned it into knives and sharpened them and stuff like that. Really? Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy because there's only 39 of them, and um, they're the direct descendants of people who left Africa 60,000 years ago. That's and crazy. because there's such a small number of them on this island the size of Manhattan, they just never passed like how humans were 100,000 years ago or whatever it was 60,000 years ago. They're, they're exactly that they live exactly the way people lived back then, which is really wild to see You know uncontacted tribes man. That is that's one of the weirdest windows into the